Hey guys, okay, so it is Friday fun day and we're gonna do another bold lips for old chicks. Now, I'm gonna use a lip today that I get a lot of comments about every time I wear it. Um, it is the Makeup Revolution lipstick in the shade Dazzle, okay? This was actually a free gift with purchase that came with one of my Ulta orders and um, just everybody, I'm not sure if it's still available so I apologize if it is not, but that's that. Um, I always get comments about it though when uh, if I wear it on camera. Um, so what we're going to do today to make this video a little bit longer but not too long <laughs> and a little bit more interesting um, is we're going to do it get ready with me style. So we're going to finish up my makeup and um, then we'll put the lip on last. And so I'll kind of show you how I would style a lip like this. Um, I usually try to, if I'm going to have a bold feature on my uh, face to kind of balance things out, I'll do like a toned down eye with a bold lip or I'll do like a bold eye with a nude ish lip usually um that way we avoid the clown status um if you want to do clown status you do you girl i mean you just pile that makeup on if you like your business not mine i'm not judging you i'm just saying so um just something to talk about though if you have um a palette such as this palette this is the la girl blushed babe blush palette and bronzer or this one is the Luscious Glow Cheek Palette, Highlight Blush and Contour Palette from Ruby Kisses. These are great to have around because, you know, if you've got um, your Staple Peach, Staple Cool Tone Pink, um, you can pair them with just about any eye or lip and you're good to go. So um, those are nice to have around. I'm just saying that because I'm kind of fly by the seat of my pants today and I wasn't really um, planning out what I was going to do. So... I have those and I can put those on as a blush. This is a, I would say it's cool toned, you know, it's not very warm. It's got that blue undertone. So that's that. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is take this palette first. Um, this is the Revolution Pro HD Powder Contour Palette in the shade Fair. And again, this was another gift with purchase, but it's got all these contour shades. I'm going to use this one right here and just put that in the crease of my eye so that we can have just the most natural eye to balance out the lip so it's not, again, clown status. Also makes this like the easiest eye look ever because it's basically just that. And I do that a lot. A lot of people do that. It's a great way to have just your everyday natural type look. And then if you want to, you know, take it up a notch with maybe a liner, because that would be really cute too, is to have a bold lip with a liner. Um, I'm not going to do that today because I didn't plan for it. And I got to get in the zone. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if I'm going to be doing a winged liner. Um, or you could even like just do a little bit of a smudgy something going on around the corners of your eyes. Sometimes I'll do that with like a uh, eyeliner such as this one. This is the Cargo Swimmables uh, eye pencil in the shade Pebble Beach. It's a nice, very deep brown, almost black, very dark brown. Um, but then you can just put that like on the edge here, smudge it out, and you've got a little bit of a smudgy thing going on. Just something nice so that you can kind of take it up a notch without having to do too much work. Um, all right, and so I think for the my eyelid, I'm going to put use this. Halo Highlighter from AOA Studio. Um, this is from Shop Miss A website. I don't have the app, but I did order this on the website. And I'm just gonna take my finger and just kind of, a little bit of that, um, just right on the lid. And I'll probably really try and tone this down. This is a pretty, almost has a bit of a purpley tone in it. So I, if it looks a little too purpley, I'll change it to something more golden. It's looking all right. I want it to be a little tiny bit shimmery, but not crazy. So I think what I might actually do is also take this, the Ruby Kisses palette, and use this shade again on my finger. Just put that right over the top, just to kind of tone it down a little bit. That kind of gives you that brightening, open-eyed look. 
And I'm going to take this brush, the AOA Studio F19 brush, and I'm just going to dust over the top of that just to tone it down a bit. There. Very good. And I'm going to take a fluffy brush, if I can find one. And I'm going to use, again, this shade, this highlight shade, and just put that on brow bone. And I might just dust a little bit of that on my inner corner, too. Okay. And let's see, shall I do, I'll do some mascara next. Um, let's see, I've got a lot of really good mascaras. I'm going to use this one today. This is the e.l.f. Lash It Loud Volumizing Mascara. It's very good. Oh, and just to warn you guys, as soon as I start touching my eyes with any sort of product or anything, my nose will start to drip. So that may happen. A uh, lot of gunk on this mascara wand, but once you kind of remove a lot of that, it's a good mascara. Yeah, that uh, AOA highlighter that I put on my eyelid is uh, almost on a little bit of the purpley, purpley blue side, which I actually didn't realize that about that highlighter. That's not really the look I was going for, but I think that other highlighter that I put on top of it kind of toned that down a bit. Uh, well, this mascara today is making my eyelashes a bit spikier than what I was hoping for, so let me try and tone that down a little bit more by wiping the brush off even more. Trying to get most of the product out so I can just kind of this will really give you a bold lash though so if that's what you're looking for that looks really pretty too sometimes if you have like a really lashy look and then a nice bold lip very pretty all right let's do some brows I have got what do I have today um looks like I'll just do use old faithful which is the elf instant lift brow pencil this one it's got tool and product in one My brows are always just to fill in the gaps, make it like a subtle shadow, not a full on caterpillar brow. It's just not what I'm into. Okay, so that's that. So we're good for brows. Let's do some cheeks. And I think today, I'm not really sure. I kind of want this bright pinky blush today, but these blushes by LA Girl are really, whoops, yeah, sorry that mirror are really very pigmented so you just kind of just need a little dab better to build up slowly there see better to build up slowly than to have so much on there that you're like well now what do I do I try to put my blush higher up on my cheekbone almost and then come around to the apple of my cheek because I feel like I don't want to drag my face down with that crazy blush. And then I'm just going to blend it, make sure it's nice and blended. Take off any excess that might be too much. And there we are. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I don't know if I'll do a highlight today. I'm not really feeling highlight today. I think that's good enough. Um, all right, so now we're back, we're down to the lip. And I do have a little bit of gloss on because my lips were so dry today. So I'm going to just dab 
a little bit of that off. They're still, it, my lips are still a little bit sticky, but it won't affect the performance of this or the look of it. All right, so this is the shade. And again, I get a lot of comments about it. It's like really beautiful. Hot pink, but almost like a really wearable in my opinion. Hot pink. I'm just gonna use the tip of it. To act as a lip liner. And there you have it. Um, it actually comes with like a little gloss that can come off, but it's it was all dried out, so it's it's useless. I don't know if all of them are like that, but this one certainly was. Okay, so I'm gonna give you a bit of a swatch with a excuse me, a lip shade that I'm wondering if might be similar. So here is the this one, and of course I've got it on my lips, but I'm just gonna compare it to this one's probably gonna be a bit more, much more bold, but I think it might be in the same color family. We'll see. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Flambois Frenzy, and it is one of the Le, Le Macaron um, scented uh, liquid lipsticks from L'Oreal. Okay, so there's that one. This one is a touch more on the red side, but I feel like they're they're probably about in the same color family. This one's just a little bit, you can kind of see on the on the wand there. This one's just much more bold. So if you're looking for something even bolder, I've got a review on this one as well. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful, love that one. But I do really like this one as well. So thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me. And uh, don't forget to thumbs up, like, subscribe. Um, ding my bell put in the comments any requests that you might have um if you want to chit chat whatever you know um i'm happy to to um answer comments and stuff so um go ahead and do that if you are so inclined so thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye